Hurricane Milton, a monster storm of unprecedented fury, has slammed into the Florida coast, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. The sheer power and intensity of this storm have taken everyone by surprise, even in a state accustomed to hurricanes. This isn't just another hurricane, this is a catastrophe of epic proportions. Millions are without power, plunging entire cities into darkness. The electrical grid has been severely compromised, and it could take weeks, if not months, to fully restore. Homes are reduced to rubble. Families who once felt safe and secure within their walls now find themselves homeless, their possessions scattered and destroyed. The emotional toll is immeasurable. The Sunshine State is grappling with the raw, untamed power of nature's wrath. The ferocity of Hurricane Milton has left an indelible mark on the landscape and the people who call this place home. The storm, a Category 4 behemoth packing winds of over 150 miles per hour, made landfall near Fort Pierce this morning. The initial impact was devastating, with winds strong enough to uproot trees and tear roofs off buildings. It has since carved a path of destruction across the state, tearing apart communities and leaving residents in a state of shock and disbelief. The scale of the damage is almost incomprehensible, with entire neighborhoods wiped out. The images coming out of the disaster zone are nothing short of apocalyptic. Buildings that once stood tall are now reduced to twisted metal and splintered wood. Flooded streets have transformed into raging rivers, making navigation nearly impossible. The floodwaters have swept away cars, trees and anything else in their path. Homes have been ripped from their foundations, leaving gaping holes where families once lived. The force of the hurricane was so immense that it literally reshaped the landscape. The once familiar landscape is now unrecognizable. What was once a thriving community is now a scene of desolation and despair. The storm surge, a towering wall of water pushed ashore by the hurricane force, has inundated coastal areas, leaving behind a scene of utter devastation. Entire coastal towns have been submerged and the water shows no signs of receding quickly. The full extent of the damage is still unknown, but one thing is certain. Florida faces a long and arduous road to recovery. The rebuilding process will be extensive and costly, requiring both time and resources. As rescue workers struggle to reach those trapped in the wreckage, the urgency of the situation becomes ever more apparent. Every minute counts in the search for survivors. Residents begin to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives coming together as a community to support one another. The spirit of resilience and solidarity is strong, even in the face of such overwhelming adversity. The true cost of Hurricane Milton is only just beginning to come into focus. The physical destruction is immense, but the emotional and psychological scars will take even longer to heal. Florida will rebuild, but the memory of this day will linger for generations. Hurricane Milton, a storm of extraordinary power, roared ashore with terrifying speed, leaving a trail of chaos in its wake. The sheer force of the winds and the relentless pounding of the waves were unlike anything the region had seen in decades. The National Hurricane Center has been meticulously tracking the storm's every move, issuing dire warnings and urging residents to evacuate. Meteorologists have been working around the clock, analyzing data and predicting the storm's path with as much accuracy as possible, but nothing could truly prepare Floridians for the sheer ferocity of this meteorological monster. Communities were gripped with fear as they braced for impact, boarding up windows and stocking up on essential supplies. The storm first formed in the Atlantic Ocean, gaining strength as it moved westward. What started as a tropical depression quickly escalated, drawing energy from the warm ocean waters. Forecasters watched with growing alarm as Milton underwent rapid intensification, transforming from a tropical depression into a major hurricane in a matter of days. The speed at which it strengthened was unprecedented, catching even seasoned meteorologists off guard. Its path, unfortunately, was aimed directly at the heart of Florida. The projected track showed it cutting a sway through the state, affecting millions of residents. The storm's winds, exceeding 150 miles per hour at landfall, are strong enough to rip roofs off buildings and toss cars around like toys. The sheer destructive power of these winds is causing widespread devastation. The storm surge, estimated to be as high as 15 feet in some areas, is inundating coastal communities, turning streets into rivers and leaving behind a trail of destruction. Homes and businesses are submerged, 
and the damage is extensive. As Milton continues its destructive march across the state, millions are without power. Communication lines are down, making it difficult for people to reach out for help. Roads are impassable, blocked by fallen trees and debris. The situation is dire and the danger is far from over. Emergency response teams are working tirelessly to reach those in need, but the scale of the disaster is overwhelming. Shelters are filling up quickly as people seek refuge from the storm. The National Weather Service is warning of potential tornadoes, flash floods and mudslides in the coming hours and days. The aftermath of Hurricane Milton will be felt for a long time and the recovery process will be arduous. As the sun sets on a battered Florida, the true scale of Hurricane Milton's devastation is becoming horrifyingly clear. The storm, which made landfall with unprecedented ferocity, has left a trail of destruction that stretches for miles. Entire communities have been uprooted and the landscape is unrecognizable. Millions are without power plunged into darkness as the storm ripped apart power lines and crippled infrastructure. Utility workers are working around the clock, but the sheer scale of the damage means it could be weeks before power is fully restored. Hospitals are overwhelmed, struggling to cope with the influx of injured. Emergency rooms are filled to capacity and medical staff are stretched thin, working tirelessly to provide care under incredibly challenging conditions. And across the state, families are left picking up the pieces of their shattered lives. Many have lost everything, their homes reduced to rubble and their possessions scattered by the wind and water. The storm surge, one of the most destructive aspects of a hurricane, has inundated coastal areas, transforming once familiar streets into treacherous waterways. Cars are submerged and buildings are waterlogged, making navigation and rescue efforts perilous. Homes have been flooded, businesses destroyed and entire neighborhoods lie in ruins. The economic impact of this disaster will be felt for years to come as communities struggle to rebuild and recover. The sound of sirens fills the air as first responders race against time to reach those trapped in the wreckage. Their bravery and dedication are a beacon of hope in these dark times. The lack of power is compounding the crisis. Without electricity, communication is difficult, and essential services are disrupted, making the recovery process even more challenging. Hospitals already stretched to their limits are relying on backup generators to keep essential services running. The constant hum of these generators is a stark reminder of the fragility of the situation. Food and water are becoming scarce as stores remain closed or are quickly running out of supplies. Long lines form outside the few open stores, with residents desperate to secure basic necessities. And with communication lines down, families are left wondering about the fate of loved ones. The uncertainty and lack of information add to the stress and anxiety of an already dire situation. In the midst of this chaos, stories of resilience and compassion are emerging. Volunteers from across the country are arriving to assist, bringing much-needed supplies and support. Neighbors are helping neighbors, sharing food, water and shelter. These acts of kindness and solidarity are a testament to the strength of the human spirit. First responders are working tirelessly, risking their own lives to save others. Their efforts are nothing short of heroic as they navigate dangerous conditions to bring people to safety. And as the state begins the long and arduous process of recovery, the indomitable spirit of Floridians shines through. Cleanup crews are already at work, and residents are beginning to rebuild, determined to restore their communities and their lives. While the full extent of Hurricane Milton's wrath is still unfolding, one community is grappling with a particularly heartbreaking tragedy. St. Lucie County, located on Florida's east coast, was ravaged not only by the hurricane's powerful winds and storm surge, but also by a series of devastating tornadoes spawned by the storm. These tornadoes, described by witnesses as monstrous funnels of wind, tore through neighborhoods with terrifying speed, reducing homes to rubble and flinging debris for miles. The National Weather Service has confirmed multiple tornado touchdowns in the area and the damage left behind is nothing short of catastrophic. Emergency responders are facing a particularly challenging situation in St. Lucie County, as downed trees and power lines are hampering rescue efforts. The number of casualties is still unknown, but officials fear the worst as they continue to search for survivors amidst the debris. This latest tragedy only adds to the immense challenges facing Florida in the wake of Hurricane Milton. 
As the state begins the long and arduous process of recovery, the people of St. Lucie County are showing remarkable strength and resilience.